Hello friends, welcome to Nurturing Faith. Today, I want you to imagine with me walking through the streets of Jerusalem and we are meeting the disciples, my friends, after we know that Jesus is alive and well because the women visit the tomb and it was empty. And so I'm looking for that place where my friends are waiting for me. So I'm quietly looking and then I knock when I find the door that I think is where my friends are waiting. I have a special word that I need to share with them. I'm not going to share it with you because then you would know. And I open and they receive me by opening the door so that I can step in. So that I can step inside. Where the other disciples are waiting to greet me as we talk about the amazing thing that has happened that the women went and the tomb was empty as Jesus promised and told us. So I want you now to hear this amazing story of what happened and to know that others who believe are waiting also, just like you, just like me. So it was late Sunday night and Jesus's friends, they were gathered together in a special meeting place. And one by one, they had crept down the dark streets of Jerusalem, as I've already said, and they knocked on the door of the safe house and they gave the special secret password. And at least everyone was there. Everyone that is, except Thomas. Thomas was missing. Shh. The disciples, we, we, we were scared. And, and so when Jesus died, we had all gone into hiding. We were afraid that the Roman soldiers would arrest us too. Well, Peter, he came, he arrived in the room and he checked to make sure that all the doors and windows were locked. The other disciples, me included, we were all just a little puzzled. Peter had called this secret meeting because there had been strange reports in the city that day. Peter told the disciples that there were some people that had been saying that Jesus's tomb was empty and Jesus's body, it was gone. Then Mary Magdalene arrived and she told us that she had seen Jesus earlier that very day and that he was alive in a new way. Alive in a new way? Well, as Peter and Mary were talking, something totally unexpected happened. That means we didn't know. We were surprised. Jesus was st suddenly standing right here in this very room with us. We all stared at him in amazement. Was this a ghost? We couldn't speak. Jesus, he smiled at us and he simply said, peace be with you. When we heard his voice, we knew something wonderful had just happened. It was true. Jesus really was alive in a new way. Listen, Jesus said to us, I have a very special mission for you. I'm sending you out into the world to continue the work that I started. Jesus, no Jesus noticed that we were all looking a little worried because after all, the Roman soldiers had killed Jesus, put him on a cross for doing his work. Oh, we aren't brave enough. We just we're just not good enough is what we were saying to Jesus. And Jesus, he knew that we were scared. 
So he blew gently on each one of us. And what he was doing was he, he was giving us his spirit, God's spirit that came, emanated through him, through Jesus to us. And Jesus said to us these very words. He said, receive the Holy Spirit. God's spirit will help each of you teach others about living in loving ways. Wow. Imagine each of us, each of us, my friends, have received God's Holy Spirit through the breath of life, through merely waking up in the morning and breathing in and breathing out. God is with us. And then Jesus, just like that, disappeared. As soon as Jesus left, we all went to tell Thomas that Jesus was alive. <laughs> well, Thomas, he listened to us carefully, but he just couldn't believe our story. Oh, that's impossible, Thomas said. How can Jesus be alive again? Well, a week later, we were all gathered together again, and this time Thomas was with us. And just like the time before, Jesus suddenly, out of nowhere, appeared in the room. Even though we had locked all the doors and windows, remember, you needed a secret password to get into this safe house. And again, Jesus said, peace be with you. Now, it was Thomas's turn to be amazed. <gasps> Is it? Is it really you, Jesus? Oh, yes, it is. My teacher. Now I won't ask any more questions. But Jesus, he told Thomas and us gathered there with Thomas to keep asking questions, even though we won't always find the answer. Keep asking questions. Well, after this, our lives were completely changed. Now it was time for us to do the job that Jesus had asked us to do. Our mission, our mission is to share the good news of God's love with everyone. Remember, that's our mission. Your mission and mine, it's what we need to do. Share God's good news of love with everyone we meet. But we don't have to do it alone. The Holy Spirit is always with us to help us wherever we go. So go now in peace. Go now in peace. And may the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Peace be with you.